it's a fundamental thing that I've lived my life by is, you know, if you're gonna fail, fail big and, and do it significantly. That was, that was the biggest lesson I had out of footy, was that I failed at my lifelong dream and life went on. In 2003, Fergus Watts was drafted to the AFL at just 17 years old. He played for four years before injuries ended his career. A change in focus led Fergus to establish a very successful business career. Here's his story on balancing work life and good health. It was always my dream to play AFL footy. I don't think that's unique to you know, a, lot of, a lot of young boys and, and uh, young girls now. I train pretty much every day. Through my year 12 year, I didn't drink, I ate very healthily. I, health was a really important component of myself because I knew that I had to get everything out of my own body to be able to get drafted. And then you know, I managed to get myself there and, and become a first round pick to the Crows. I got my first serious injury in the first practice game at the end of my first preseason, and, and that was I tore my groin and then it turns out I had osteitis pubis. After that, my second year, I ruptured my ankle pretty badly, um, pretty early, and I did the young, stupid thing of not telling anyone or, you know, and playing with it and, and just, you know, I ended up playing six or seven, eight weeks with this ruptured ankle in a really bad way. Um, but. I was very close to playing in the senior team and you know, I didn't want that to get in my way and, and, and all that sort of stuff. So I got that sort of rehab, got that fixed, came back, then played our NFL finals that, that year um, and then, then got traded over to St Kilda uh, and then in round two, broke my leg, broke my ankle, ruptured it, dislocated it. And so I got to that point where I thought, well, you know, this, this has a lifespan. This is not going to be the 10, 15 year career that I thought it was going to be. And then uh, I had the great joy of going into my last ever game as a sort of professionally listed player playing in the VFL and ended up breaking my jaw in two places. And, and, and you know, and that, that, was, that, was the, that was it, that was the end of it. So I came out of footy and I had no idea what I wanted to do and sort of went and met with lawyers and accountants and said, is anyone I could who had a job, right? So I could figure out what a job was and what was involved in a job and, and, and what I needed to do and what I wanted to do. And I walked into an advertising agency and you know, I distinctly remember um, a guy walking down the stairs with a t-shirt on, he had tattoos and there was music playing. And it all seemed a little bit more relaxed than some of the other professions I'd sort of gone to. I realised that that's where my interest in business lied, right? Was in the ability to set a strategic vision for, a, for an organisation and then be able to grow that through acquisitions, through mergers, through partnering with people who are experts in their field, bring them into our, into our network. And that's what Bastion Collective has always been about. It's about growing through a collection of, of experts who can deliver world-class integrated service to clients. That's what, that's what we've, we've done and, and that's been my, my focus for the last 12 years. As we've got bigger and as the business has evolved and as you know, we, we work in different ways and, and all that, you know, as things have changed, I've had to go through an enormous amount of self-reflection to be able to create sustained effort throughout that period. And I've found that with my health as well. My health has been has fluctuated over time. Now I've always lived a fairly active lifestyle and it's always been very important to me that I've stayed fit. As I've got older, I'm now married, I've got kids, um, it, becomes a, it, it becomes a harder thing. And that again is my great lesson, is that to be healthy and a healthy individual, regardless of anything else you've got going, requires consistent, sustained effort to be delivered over a long period of time. And, and being able to acknowledge when you get up in the morning, you know, you're feeling not great. Still go, but you don't have to train for an hour and a half and, you know, put yourself to the floor. You can train for 20 minutes, just sort of lighten up a bit and then, and then come back. That's, that consistency allows some longevity. I'm still pretty affected by this ankle, so I can't run. So I have to, so I've tried a few things over, over time, but I primarily box and lift weights. I found through the COVID lockdown that because the gym was shut, I could only sort of lift my weights here. I really lacked motivation. And because I was working, you know, long hours and very hard sitting in front of the computer, I lost all my routine. And I, I just found I became just slow and, and, you know, and a bit 
repetitive and a bit stodgy, for lack of a better word. I had no energy. Now, gyms are back open and I'm more consistently going. For me, I need that activity. I need that, you know, that activity in my life to be able to sort of get my brain working, get, get my day off to a good start. And then I kick into my, you know, my work and, and everything else. And I find I, I have significantly greater energy throughout the day if I've worked out in the morning. It's really important to be an active dad for me. And I'm, cause I'm very wary about it cause of my ankle. So I'm very wary that you have a couple of moments where if you haven't trained in a while or you're starting to get a bit unfit and then the kids want to kick the footy or run around or you have a full day with them and you're completely exhausted at the end, you know? And that for me, I just don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy that can't keep up with the kids and, and can't run around. It's a, you know, family is a very important thing for me. You know, my wife and I have, a, have two young kids at the moment and it's just a very important component of my life that I can be a very active dad and play sport with these guys for a long period of time. That's a good life.